Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great October. I have a new Pennywise figure from It Chapter 1. The ultimate figure by NECA. It's the Wellhouse version, I believe that's what it's called. The one in the middle here that I haven't actually unboxed yet. And on either side we have the first version they released and the, I believe it was the GameStop exclusive. It's got that really cool front cover that changes as you move around it. See that? I love dairy and then there's Pennywise. Love this one with the blood. Uh, I can't remember if that's the head sculpt. I think that head sculpt did come with that original one. I like to swap the heads around as I'm sure we all do. But this is the one, man. This is the one I've been really excited about. Because this one has the, the heads that I've always kind of wanted. The really creepy looking ones, especially that one there. So really looking forward to getting this out. Yeah, four head sculpts, man. That is nuts. Look at that. I'm going to have some real fun with these ones. That one, yeah, that one that's already on the body is fantastic. Love the position of the eyes. These uh, these never really disappoint the Pennywise figures. I've got it from HMV in the UK. Um, the HMV that I go to doesn't usually have Nicker figures. And I just popped in today, I was on my travels and saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, that's the one I want. And I can't believe that my local HMV has it. So I had to go ahead and pick it up. And inside, behind the clamshell, you get this really cool backdrop. I know from the, uh, the scene when the coffin was on the... Actually, you can see the coffin that's covered by a sheet. But yeah, that was a really creepy scene. But that's a nice background right there. Very cool. Handy for your photography. This should be nice. This should be nice and satisfying for you. Go ahead and cut this twisty tie. Oh yeah, I like that, huh? Here we go. You want another one? Check out this. Ooh, that's nice. Let me go ahead and set him free. Come on, get yeah. Raise up. Raise. Come on, man. Give it to me now. There it is. Ooh, that is awesome. Oh man, that's definitely one of my new favorite head sculpts. That's going to be fun in photography. I've got the uh, got a few Glenn Page uh, dioramas, cult creation dioramas. So I'm going to bust out my Myers house, I think, and uh, get some pictures going. He ain't going to stand up just yet. Whoa! Look at that. Whoa! The, was it a fire poker? Yeah, the fire poker goes through there, through the eye. And then it'll come out the side of his head, just like in the movie. All right, so we've got the new guy front and center in the uh, middle here. And a kind of creepy hunched over, just off to the side. He's just completely off this guy. And uh, you can imagine him just kind of coming forward like that. Cackling away, trying to inject as much fear into his next tiny victim as possible because apparently it makes them taste better. He's always going on about sweet, delicious fear. Um, it's an awesome looking piece, man. I'm coming at it from a low angle here because I was just grabbing a sweet thumbnail for the review and I thought it looked so good looking up at them like this. It just gives them, kind of distorts the sense of scale. They're only seven inch scale figures, but coming at them from a low angle like this and especially if you zoom in as well on a good camera, you can really kind of... Um, distort you know and just get the sense that it's bigger than it really is uh i mean you can imagine what that would be like with a quarter scale version that's like 19 inches tall or something but yeah get a nice led light coming from behind slightly bouncing off the shoulders and the back of the head and another led from either side from below pointing up towards his eyes to catch the light in the eyes get that glint of life in the eyes really brings out uh, well brings the life out of the figure um especially something that looks as intense as this now um, I've got a couple of different lights scattered around the place, one from coming above, one from the side, and another one just off camera here, kind of pointing up, but it's it's not a very good light. Look at that, it's terrible. And um, yeah, as I look over at Pennywise here, munching on Georgie's arm covered in blood, I'm reminded of a point I want to just touch on quickly, and I might have to do a separate video going more in depth into this subject soon, because it's it's pending, it's, it's impending, it's impending doom. 
uh, of YouTube, apparently making some serious changes, implementing some serious changes to figure review channels, toy review channels. I think they're mainly aiming at the toy review channels, channels that make videos that are aimed towards little four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old kids. That's certainly not what this channel is. I consider my content to be aimed at adults or uh, at least, you know, late teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond. Um, everyone's welcome it's just the content i make a lot of it is horror and sci-fi horror the darker side of dc so it's certainly not aimed towards those little kids so hopefully the people who are going to be implementing like literally the people who will be going into these channels and deciding whether or not to put these changes on that channel like you know demonetizing the channel so you can't make money from ads anymore disabling the comment section um it's really gonna mess me up I'm hoping YouTube don't clamp down on this channel because it's clearly not for kids. I have to like say that officially if anyone from YouTube is watching, which they won't be, but you know, this channel is not for kids. It's for grown folks. That's the way I see it. Like I say, if YouTube clamped down and shut me down in that sense where the channel is still here, but I can't, you know, make any money from ads and the comment section gets sucked, you know, like shut down. I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, the only way this channel will go on is through the help of uh, you guys on Patreon. I have 36 Patreons currently, God bless every one of them, uh, for one dollar a month, like, you won't even miss that, and the amount of content I pump out every month, like, there's 31 days in a month, basically, and I do a video every day, sometimes multiple videos a day, but you have to know that there are changes coming to YouTube that are going to be pretty devastating to the figure reviewers and stuff like that so all us guys on youtube making these videos for you are pretty nervous right now because we're not too sure where we're going to be in a few months from now but with your help on patreon i can keep going man let's get back to the review and try and cheer up in these dark dark days this is amazing it's definitely one of my favorite head sculpts seeing them all together like this that head sculpt is really creepy just the look in his eyes now is there one where the eyes are kind of, where one eye kind of trails off to one side? Uh, I've got lots of other head sculpts in little bags in my accessory drawers, uh, like down here. But I've got my Marvel jammies on, that's right. Uh, yeah, somewhere in here, there are a lot more Pennywise head sculpts. So I have to bust them out in a little while. But he just looks amazing. Don't even really want to change the heads around because I love the way this looks so much, but I've got to do it. It's a review. So let me bust out some of these uh, different heads get some switching around going on you can see do you know what i'll change them up a little bit for this review but i don't want it to be too long so i'll probably bust out a separate video where i do uh pose sessions and, and then i'll use the glenn page diorama i think i'll do a separate video because there's still a bit of time before halloween hits so you get yourself some more pennywise action from me but yeah they're so good these figures so poseable really detailed amazing sculpts and great neat paintwork on the the heads themselves really neatly done with the teeth for this scale hair sculpted really well the ruffles and wrinkles in his outfit and again this one over here i did do a little black wash on this one so that's a little bit more dirty and grimy looking i mean he is lurking about in a sewer all the time or in this uh nasty house so he would be a little bit more grimy, but it's nice to have a really nice pristine one, a blood-stained version, and just a kind of dirty, grimy version too. So I just realized that now, that's pretty sweet. All right, I switched out the head to this one. That is really creepy. Um, not my favorite for sure. Uh, no, that's not my favorite. He looks weird, man. He looks kind of like a, I don't know. What does he look like? That looks really weird. That's probably just not the right pose for that kind of head sculpt. I'm having trouble thinking exactly what scene that's from so yeah that's not one of my favorites so i'm gonna go ahead and change it to, Ooh, this is the one i'm curious about oh man how freaky does that look it's kind of looking at you but obviously he's got a fire poker going through his head and through his eye so uh, i'm not too sure i've got the fire poker in the right way um there's a hole where is it just just near his ear there there seems to be another hole but there's no way that's going to bend that shape without messing it up so i don't know i just pushed it in that way i'd have to double check the film and see if that's correct but that is awesome looking i'm gonna have some fun photographing this later that is most impressive he's just uh getting his bearings take a minute 
And then we have the head sculpt from the slideshow scene, which was really creepy in the trailer and just as creepy in the film. And it has been recreated here extremely well, considering uh, you've had to sculpt the hair, you know. It's uh, always tricky to achieve something like this. I mean, the wind's supposed to be blowing, but that's the way it appears to me. So mission accomplished there. And again, a really fantastic sculpt. Wasn't sure quite what to do with his hands and arms for this one. So I just, he's just, you know, just standing there, just chilling, having his picture taken, grinning away to himself. Look at him, biting his lip. He's uh, quite excited. All right, so there is that, what I believe to be the werewolf kind of claw. Back to my favorite head sculpt. That just looks creepy as hell. He's just kind of, that's not the angle in the trailer or in the movie itself. You kind of see him coming towards, uh, oh, I forget the name of the character now. When he comes out of the, uh, was it a fridge? He's all twisted up. That's an amazing scene right there. And then he's walking towards him with the werewolf claw. It's just scary, man. No wonder that kid was uh, absolutely... You know, losing control of his bodily functions, making a mess. You would be if this guy was coming at you, especially with a werewolf claw, and you think, oh man, he's going to turn into a werewolf and eat my face. That is not going to be the, the end to the day that I was hoping for. So, anyway, there he goes. Looks awesome. Looks scary. Very, very, very cool. I think I will be displaying at least one of my Pennywises in such a manner as this. Little height comparison between a NECA 7 inch Jason Voorhees figure and Pennywise himself. As you can see, they seem to be about the same height. I thought Pennywise would be taller, but I guess I was wrong about that. So let's try Michael Myers from the 2018 film and a Freddy Krueger as well. And now we have Michael Myers, Pennywise, and Laurie Strode. Obviously, Laurie Strode is smaller, and that looks accurate to me. And Michael Myers is a little bit taller than Pennywise. James Jude Courtney clocking in at about six foot three, the man who played Myers in 2018. That right there is a real metal uh, blade by Fergo, Shadow Fergo on Instagram. He makes real weaponry. Definitely check him out and enhance your piece. But there's a pretty cool height comparison for you. Let's just try Freddy and then we'll be done with this. All right, and there's Freddy from Freddy's Revenge. That's part two, Freddy, the ultimate Freddy and he is a little bit shorter than Pennywise even with his hat on and I couldn't bring myself to change his uh, you're all my children now pose so sorry about that his arms have to stay in that position because I want to keep him like that but yeah there you go there's Freddy and Pennywise so let's get all the gang here Myers Freddy and Jason with a chain wrapped around his neck because this is the one that goes on my kind of meant to be in like a fish tank. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's not gonna work. Ah, you get the idea. All right, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I will bring you a separate video with all the photography poses and diorama, backgrounds, all that good stuff. Team him up with other characters. Just basically a big pose session. That's gonna be coming up well in time for Halloween. So I didn't want this review to be too long, which I think it probably already is. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've answered your question. Basically, the, the story is, He's another great example of uh, Necker just knocking it out of the park with a figure. Amazing head sculpts, every one of them that came with this one. And just great articulation, great sculpt, great paint, great packaging. Uh, collector friendly, so you could just leave him in there and have the, 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 you know, the door open. You can just look at him in there and then close it again, have it on your shelf, whatever. It's uh, Either way, it's a beautiful piece. So definitely I recommend this. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time i upload a video make sure you follow me on instagram lots of stuff on there at dean knight 333 same name as the channel here and facebook same deal on there check me out and like i said youtube changing some rules probably going to be clamping down pretty hard on the figure reviewers so any help you guys can give on patreon would be greatly appreciated and we'll keep this channel here for you guys to enjoy the content in the future so there is a link in the description underneath this video. Click it, it'll take you straight to my Patreon and you get your name on the end of every video, just like the credits of a movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did in the comments. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.